Ahoy hoy! Welcome back YouTube, it's Ark and I'm here doing another ep of my Final Fantasy 7 mod run. So, theme of today's episode is, I'm heading back to the battle square. But we're not going to be doing the extended battle square. I've already done one match in with the Kate Sith tank, but we are going to do the special battle square. So what's the difference? The difference being, the special battle square is just like three big fights. Um, for silver, gold, and platinum. Special Battle Square is eight fights with your whole team. Uh, it does say there are handicaps, but there isn't. And then the goal is to survive. Just I've uh, ribbon to Cloud just to make sure he's fine because he's got the more health out of the three anyway. But what I think I'm going to do instead? Keep you with darkness, but I'm going to swap Yuffie to Ribbon. Yuffie already has a 30% dodge rate to attacks, so that's comfortable enough. So I combine that with Ribbon, then she should be fine. Because of anything, Yuffie seems to be my powerhouse on this playthrough. Also, we now we have the gold ticket. I wasn't sure if I had showed you guys this uh, before prior. But we don't have to go on the train anymore. He's just like, hey, the gold source is reopened. I see you got a gold ticket, and you can just go to any square. Thought that was rather neat myself. I've also set up everybody non-elementally, because with eight fights you don't know, well, I do have a rough idea what they're going to flick through between said elements, but oh, it's going to be you can't change the material mid-fight, so. Non-elemental, and then I have Aerith being a boss mage. So that's the extended battle square lady over there, who we still got two fights to do with her. You don't really matter. And we have this bird over here, and she is our special battle person. Same, like, it's the same text, but there is no handicap. And let us be off. Because I have Master Magic, I have Master Magic connected to an MP Turbo. Did I just get stopped? Motherfucker! Yeah, I'm on. I said Yuffie hasn't, yeah, but doesn't get Ribbon because he, uh, Ribbon... I mean, doesn't get Barrier because Ribbon also counteracts Barrier. One more, and then we'll be out of bolt, and I reckon that should be it. And then we'll get Cloud to do some regen. Bit bombs I didn't chuck on a uh, time all on Cloud actually. Bit of a dick move now. I'm thinking about it. And we'll get some holy magic on you. You could maybe not do that. I'll spread them out. A or B. Uh, no, I was hoping. Come on, death blow. No. Oi! Cut that shit out. Now we got. That's. Yeah, that's acceptable. I think as long as we get a cure in. Now we'll get some haste. Ah, best case scenario. Except for why Cloud's on his knee, though. Hmm. Should go and get myself some extra ribbons as well. I'm pretty sure I can still morph them off Master Tomberry. Ah, what else you got, huh? Oh, Mr. Bird. Uh, we'll throw a remedy. Oh, I don't even need the fucking remedy, stupid controller. 
Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Um, where is that? Uh, oh shit, make a look up. Fuck it, I ain't fucking around. I right, now we got the haste. Excellent. Now because we got a bolt here. Let's do Out of the two attackers, even though Aerith does have slightly lower attack because of her weapon, and it's sort of a little special ability, I'd rather favor Yuffie attacking than Cloud. So... Come on, alright, so, four cut. I reckon after this bolt, this should do it. Oh, no bolt, because I forgot to actually put a wall up. Hello, uber large Shinra man. Zone sweep? Nah, Aerith ain't making this. God damn it. It's got, at least I got a wall for these two. That's better than nothing. Alright, oh, so there's no point. There's no walling for fucking Yuffie. I literally just said that two seconds ago. Now, with this fight, this is very much a Yuffie fight. I mean, not a Yuffie, yeah, yeah, an Aerith fight. Because we need to get our bio. Because it's a uh, humanoid. So, poison will work and we'll rip shitloads off him. Oh, Clouds have been debarried, that's how good. No, I didn't even think that was a thing. Come on. Ow. Did you actually survive that? Wow! Makes me think. So I tend to use the coin, but I want to save it as well. Get a bio. Oh, the damage is so subpar when that uh, wall. So I'm pretty sure each tick's about 4k as well, so the just the general poison tick does more than my actual damage. I reckon another, oh, another 4k tick, there you go. Hopefully this does the job. Yay! Now, you are all about water. Might be able to squeeze out one more Hydro. Yay! And after we've got that Hydro. Now when he puts his arms up, I'm pretty sure that's a block to his weakness. So if I hit him with any water attacks, they'll be 50 shades of fucking pointless. Do is while I've got the chance. But notice, I notice the physical attacks get stronger when he does that, though. I'm not sure if Yuffie, yeah, Yuffie can't even beat Regen while she has Ribbon. They've definitely made Ribbon a lot more of a double edged sword in this playthrough. I'm 
Oh, perfect timing. Oh shit, Grand Cross with no bloody... a wall. Come on, remedy! Huzzah for that bloody ribbon though, my god. What are you up to, huh? You fucking sick fuck. Come on, come on, thank you! Use Yuffie and Cloud to attack. I think there's like six or seven buttons in terms of our fight, so we should nearly be there. Getting everything done. Hell combo. Yes, attack the person with the huge barrier. As long as we keep her alive, we can ship ever so closely to Great Gospel. If we can get Great Gospel and we can keep it and we can actually punch it off, we'll be fine. Doesn't matter what will happen because I reckon we are blow anything before Peerless runs out. Four cards. I mean, we've got our walls and stuff up, so... And what we can do... Ah, okay. So Northern Cross can berserk people. I thought that's what the Southern Cross does. Well, it does when you're in Australia, anyway. Fucking stupid, Aerith. Don't give him a fucking healing shield. We gotta get a heal on Aerith ASAP. Hey, who's this? You have fortune indeed to reach me, but time shenanigans is over. Now we fight like men and ladies and men who dress like ladies for me. Gilgamesh is cameo time. Um, yeah, thank you. Well, you can maybe not be a little fucking shit, Aerith. That that'd be great. I do have fucking four Bahamuts. Oh, what are you up to? Ah, perfect timing. And we'll use a remedy. No! Stay. Stop it. Ah. Um. What are you up to, you son of a bitch? I can just get a little more. Yes! Great gospel! Great gospel! Great gospel! Oh, I'm gonna fuck his shit up now. That's not even a fucking given. He's not gonna be able to attack me, not do anything to me. He's nothing's gonna get through. My damage is gonna go up. And I'm assuming because this is number eight, this is the cameo. It'll end from here, so we just gotta hold on till the end. Oh, I should probably start doing some Comet too, so I can get some multi-hits in. Oi! Oi! You're huge! I swear if all my attacks do one damage now, I will apply buffs. What the shit? <laughs> Mistakes have been made! Ah, 
Ah, that's right, we need to dispel. Hang on. God damn it! Hurry up, Aerith! Letting all these fucking numbers go to waste. Dispel, 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 dispel. There we go, that should do it. There! Damage! Numbers! Piss off, giant frog. Alright, everyone's nearly been. except for Eric. Interesting. Alright. I just realised that Peerless has already run, off, run out on two people. Yeah, fucking back off! No! Do it, Aerith! What are you doing, you dickhead? Ow! Sorta hurt, bruh! On Death Blow! You had a good run, Aerith. You tried. And that's what matters. Is you tried. What? Wait, what? Oh, I wonder if she's peerless and she had the status. That's an interesting bug. I wonder if that's exploitable. That stings! Enough of this! I feel generous, mortal. I shall judge our contest, even though I'm the winner. No, we totally won. We totally were going to win that. You can piss off there, Gyogi. I mean, at least everyone was up. I what the reward's going to be. Gained 20,000 battle points. I do know what the super secret reward was for this this time. My mate was like, don't bother wasting your time on it, so I'm not going to. So the 32,000 reward, it's like an uh, uh, item pack. For winning this received final attack, yeah! I said, my mate told me that uh, he was, he, that this is where it was, but I thought it might have been moved around with the new patch. I, might, I was actually expecting it to be in a Materia cave, to be honest. So we have final attack now. I feel very, very happy. Alright, well... Ah, it's already mastered, so I can't dupe it, I can't replicate it or anything. So damn, only one final attack. The, you know, the old school, you know, easy win was you'd have two, and then you'd get one on Knights of the Round, and then you'd get one on Phoenix, so it doesn't matter what happened, you were covered. Yeah, so number 20,000 points are now officially worthless, but as I said, there's nothing sort of worth it up there. Uh, there is stuff that I need, but I can hope to come back later, just rerun it, and then off I go. That's the wrong button. Yes, and I'm oh, I do have everyone ranked up now as well, so not only is everyone level 99, not only do I have all level 4 limit breaks except for Kate Sith, I now have everyone ranked 8. So now that I've had my epic success... Ta-da! So that's another pre another boss fight down that I wanted to show you guys. I don't think I'm going to get any more time. Oh, I haven't done a Kobo race yet. I wish there was like a fast travel option out of here. Unless there is and I just haven't had a look yet. There is always that. But I've got like this checklist going of things left that I need to do. And overall, guys, we are definitely starting to wrap up like really soon. So we only need to get uh, Sid and maybe Tifa's ultimate weapon. But that's in the Dark K side quest that we have to do. But apart from that, we have Knights of the Round left in the cave. Like you have to go get do the boss fight to win him. Uh, we have two fights left in Battle Square. We have Ruby. We have Emerald. There's apparently another secret fight nestled somewhere, and after that, 
it's Sephiroth. So guys, we could be done within 10, 20 episodes from now. So it feels a bit weird, this has been a bit of constant for me the last few months, and with life not getting in the way with holding. So after it's gone, it's gonna feel weird. Like, I know I'm just gonna, f I'll keep going with Dirge Cerberus, and then I'll start Crisis Call, but... Oh, I've just been doing it for a while now, so sort of, yeah, just becoming a sort of a staple of my day. I wake up, drink coffee, go to the toilet, drink another coffee, eat noodles, play Final Fantasy VII. Alright, so... Ah, bloody hell, that's a trailer. I was wondering where I left my airship for a second, and I was just like... God, Ark, you're a dumb fuck. Ah, airship. So, one of the, so next episode we're going to be doing Dark Cave. I've decided just mentally in my head now. So I do want to get Sid's ultimate weapon before I try and push on any further. I miss Sid being in my party. But at the same time, I might have to do a stat comparison between him and Yuffie. Also, it might actually be worth an idea me checking out some different party compositions without Cloud. Because I'm just so used to having him in there as a staple. Plus he's got my name on it, so obviously you've got to keep yourself in the main party, right? But it might even be worth... Because I was thinking in my head mentally swapping around Cloud for Tifa. Just for limit breaks and stuff. Because they seem to be a lot, a lot more potent than Omni Slash in comparison. Like, on this build anyway. I know Cloud's passive ability got changed for the newer version of the new threat that came out. The second wind got moved to Sid, and Cloud got something to do with the limit breaks, which I thought actually was a bit more fitting, so I'm keen to look in, uh, into that a bit further. Now, I think I've... Uh Sleeping Forest. Oh no, it's actually it was back here. All right, I gotta go talk to Dio again, but this is actually where the Dark Cave starts. In the Sleeping Forest, which is cool! It brings back an area that doesn't really get touched apart from like the initial run-in. I think it's about here. But I gotta go talk to Dio over in Gold Saucer, and then everyone will respawn. So I'll start the episode, next episode here, because you guys don't need to see me talking to that bloody like, underwear wearing douche canoe. So! If you like anything that I've been doing on here, or any of our content from me or just the other guys in general, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, really do appreciate it. Make sure you guys do hit that notification bell as well. We do tend to upload five, six times a week. We don't want to make sure, you know, don't want you guys missing out. Where's my firing? Excellent. So, till the next episode of our Final Fantasy VII mod run, I am Marcus Sam, and you are on Dude Go Back. Peace out, YouTube.